Hi, I'm Connor Riley, and welcome into another episode of Video Good Day UGA. Just a few days until signing day, most of the recruiting world is interested in where this guy is going to end up going. That's Zachary Evans. He's a five-star running back, and he spent most of this recruiting cycle as the number one running back in the country. Watching him at the Under Armour All-American game, it's easy to see why. He's got a unique burst and a very good blend of size and speed. And it's very easy to see why schools like Texas A&M, LSU, Alabama, Georgia have all at various times targeted and been the leader for him. But if you think this is going to be a straightforward commit and sign on National Signing Day, you haven't been paying a whole lot of attention. Evans' recruitment has been all over the place with a lot of twists, surprises, a public apology on national television, a reported release from his national letter of intent from Georgia. No one really even knows if he's going to be allowed to sign. It might just be a simple commitment and then he shows up on campus in May or June. This recruitment almost in all likelihood isn't going to end on February 5th. And that was all before four-star running back Dejon Edwards committed to Georgia on Thursday. With him in the class now, there's even more uncertainty surrounding Evans. But the Evans recruitment has sort of swallowed up some of the attention that should go to some of the other Georgia players. Someone like Kendall Milton. When Milton first committed to Georgia back in July, he was a five-star running back and a top 30 prospect overall. Then during his high school senior season, he suffered an injury. There were questions about, you know, his overall speed, his level of competition out there in Fresno, California. And he started to drop a little bit in the rankings. Eventually, he finished as the number 53 overall player in the country and the number seven running back as well. But don't get lost in the recruiting rankings when it comes to Milton, because I believe he's better than he's getting credit for. He's got a unique blend of size and speed. When Todd Gurley signed as a member of Georgia's 2012 recruiting class, he was listed at 6'1", 209 pounds. Milton, 6'1 and a half, 215. Like Gurley when he first came into the program, Milton also has a chance to play early on. With DeAndre Swift and Brian Herrien off to the NFL, Milton's going to have a chance to make an impact early for Georgia next year. But for all Milton can do on the field, the reason why I believe he's going to be an incredibly successful player for the Bulldogs actually comes from all that he brings off of it. Milton was a leader for this Georgia recruiting class, even though he was all the way out in California, often working behind the scenes and chatting with guys about how to get them to Georgia and how they can help contribute to Georgia winning a national championship. Former Georgia quarterback DJ Shockley tweeted out a picture earlier this week of the early enrollees for Georgia's 2020 recruiting class. And just looking at it, it's easy to see why Milton stands out. And those leadership qualities we talked about, Milton's already showing them off at Georgia as he hosted Cedric Von Prahn Granger on an official visit this past week at Georgia. That's incredibly rare for a freshman to be allowed to do that, but it also shows what kind of person Milton is. And personally, from having filmed Milton's commitment video out in California and seeing him interact and being around his family, this guy's just different. Some have called the Evans recruitment one of the crazier ones in recent memory. And yes, it is a little odd given the whole letter of intent release, public apology and whatnot. But I actually think Milton here is the outlier. From the moment he committed to Georgia back in July, he's been steadfast in his pledge. He's trying to build the best possible class he can so that he can give Georgia the best chance of winning a national championship. When we spoke to Milton back in July, he made it easy to see why he's such a special person. He spoke openly about wanting to add more talent to the Georgia team so that they'd have an easier time winning a national title. He even brought up bringing in a second talented running back, mentioning Zach Evans by name. With Edwards now in the fold, Georgia has two strong running backs in the 2020 recruiting class. Milton also told us that Georgia was going to sign a top two recruiting class for the 2020 cycle, and it wasn't going to be number two. Entering National Signing Day, Georgia has a number one recruiting class in the country, and we'll look to hold on to that. I think Milton is going to be the most special person in this Georgia class, but it isn't because he trucks a defender or jukes somebody out. It's because of what he brings off the field, something that isn't always best measured by recruiting rankings. When Milton goes on to make an early impact next year, whether it be on September 7th against Virginia or September 19th against Alabama in Bryant-Denny Stadium, I don't think too many people are going to be thinking about Zach Evans. I think they're going to be wondering about just how great Kendall Milton is going to be. For Good Day UGA, I'm Connor Riley. For more Dog Nation videos, check out youtube.com slash dognation.